Hey, what is up, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube? I'm Ichi Badass, and if you're watching this video, whether it be on Twitter or the extended version on YouTube, I'm excited to talk about Nintendo Power's podcast later this month, which they will be focusing on the fan favorite games of 2020 for the Nintendo Switch. Now, I'll be including a link with this where you'll be able to actually cast your votes personally for your top picks for 2020, but there's 13 categories, and depending on when you actually watch this, there's gonna be less than 24 hours to cast your vote. So you probably might wanna actually like hop on that. So whether or not, if you're watching the short version of this on, on Twitter or my socials, you're okay, because you won't actually see my picks, but on YouTube, I'm gonna be like posting my pick, probably more biased towards than anybody else. And that, that includes like, you can check me out over on my Twitch channel at twitch.tv forward slash Ichi Badass, where I'll be talking more in detail about my favorites for this year. You can create a Nintendo account for absolutely free or sign in with your pre-existing Nintendo account to cast your votes. Again, you have basically, it's gonna be about 24 hours by the time you actually see this. And there's 13 categories covering all sorts of different things. You, right off the bat, you can see like Merry Multiplayer, which is focused on you know, top picks of multiplayer games out of these four games that is selected right here. And you, you can, participate and vote on these and it'll be talked about later this month in the podcast so be sure to check that link out i hope that you'll participate and i look forward to hearing your guys' thoughts later bye guys now welcome back so this is going to be the extension of this video talking about my personal picks for the fan favorites of 2020 out of the games actually listed here are the 13 categories first up we have the merry multiplayer and this is kind of a tough one because i've only played three of the four of these games but man they are some really really good games so my my favorite multiplayer though for this year is animal crossing the 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 variety of different games that you can actually play in terms of like mini games and I'm, I, I, I go with Animal Crossing New Horizons. Fresh ideas, we got Carto Hades, Mario Kart Live Home Circuit, and Super Mario Brothers 35. I've played half of these games right here. Between Hades and Super Mario Brothers 35, I really love Super Mario Brothers 35 because it's a throwback to the OG, which is the first Super Mario that I personally played. So I'm really I'm really torn between Hades and Super Mario Brothers 35. Like if I if I had to revote right now, I would probably go with I almost want to say Hades, but I'd probably still go with Super Mario Brothers 35. Just just because it's something so so different and new, it it is not something that you would anticipate. With intense action in our third category here, you have Hades, Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity, Streets of Rage 4, and Super Mario Bros. 35 popping up again. And I have to give it to Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity. I've already put more than 24 hours into this game. There's a lot of intense action in actually all four of these, but Age of Calamity, I'm 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 biased towards Legend of Zelda. It's it's gonna it's gonna take my my vote here. Although Hades is a close second, because Hades is a phenomenal indie title, and some of the instances in that roguelike is just get really screwed up, honestly. Animal Crossing New Horizons activity for the fourth category, hanging out with island residents, house decorating, island decorating, or multiplayer with friends and family. Multiplayer with friends and family is easily the best out of the four for me in this in this category with Animal Crossing. And that's because playing stuff with friends and family and being able to connect regardless of the holiday season is a pretty big deal. It is a huge thing. So multiplayer with friends and family is my favorite activity with Animal Crossing. For number five, Spiffy Indie. Short hike is phenomenal. So is Hades. So is Ori and Wild Wisp. I haven't played Spirit Fair. So unfortunately I'm more biased towards like the first three, but I have to give it to Hades. <laughs> Hades is like, oh my gosh. Hades is really knocking it out of the park. It like, don't, don't get me wrong. Ori and the Will, the Wisp is amazing. Short hike, I've seen some of it. Spirit Fair, I've heard of it, but I haven't I haven't played it. I'm not gonna recommend any games that I have not personally played. But Hades for for number five, yeah, it easily gets my vote here. Great graphics is pretty wild because Crisis Remastered is a crazy 
remastered on the Nintendo Switch, and like a lot of people would base Crisis for like the benchmarks for everything else back on the PC when it originally came out. So Crisis is a pretty big deal. Hades is phenomenal. Ori Will the Wisp, Paper Mario the Origami King. I, I think Origami King only shows up on this like twice. And this is difficult because I love I love the art style. I love the theme for, for Paper Mario. Ori Will the Wisp is another game that runs phenomenally on the Nintendo Switch at 60 FPS. So does Hades. Hades is actually downscaled to 720p to run at 60 FPS. So the graphics aren't as like clean and sharp, even docked, but it runs really good. I kind of have to give it to Paper Mario. Like I'm I'm honestly really, really torn here. Just like, just vote for like all four of them. Uh, super soundtrack for category seven. Animal Crossing New Horizons, Hades, Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity, and Paper Mario, the Origami King. This, this just, kind of honestly bust my balls because because they all have some really amazing soundtracks i really want to give it to hades because hades soundtracks are really good i'm pretty sure i voted for animal crossing though but if i was to vote again maybe they're all freaking amazing you got animal crossing you have hades you know my franchise favorite with legend of zelda and super mario like you, you see why I didn't include these in like the original opening short? So relaxing for category eight, a short hike again, Animal Crossing New Horizons, Clubhouse Games 51 Worldwide Classics, and I Am Dead. I have not played I Am Dead, so I don't know about this game. I don't know how relaxing that would actually be to be dead, but okay. Clubhouse Games 51 Worldwide Classics is an amazing, like collage of board games and card games and a variety of just tabletop games animal crossing though gets my vote easily because i have spent so many hours in animal crossing as my chill game of the evening before going to bed and stuff so easy easy vote right here for animal crossing number nine what a story so we have Hades, Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity, the Kentucky Route Zero TV Edition, and Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Now, what's a little, I guess, unfair about this, right? Is so Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition is a remake. Well, it's not really a remake. It's like a remaster. So to like throw this in here, I feel like is a little unfair with the games involved. Um... But I have to give it to Age of Calamity because without spoilers for Age of Calamity, because I know a lot of you guys are going to be getting this for Christmas. There, there is it. If you love Breath of the Wild and you're going to be getting like Age of Calamity soon, it, it, you, you, you definitely would not expect what happens in Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. So I'm going to give it to Age of Calamity. I love, I love Hades. I love Xenoblade Chronicles. But again, I'm, I'm, I think I'm being kind of biased here just because I've been waiting so long to get that additional content for like leading into Breath of the Wild 2. Um, I, 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 I would, if I had to vote right now, Age of Calamity right here. Cool character for number 10. Bobby, I, I understand why. I don't know if I would say cool. I would say an explosive character, Mario, Tom Nook, and Zagoras. Um, see, see this, this is, this is where the being biased comes into play. I would give it to Zagreus, and it's only because he's a newer character. I mean, he's not really a newer character, but he's a newer character to me with the indie title Hades. And he is such an incredible badass of a character, too, that I, I, I'm pretty sure I voted Mario, though. But Zagreus, if I, if I had to pick again or pick twice or multiple times, I'd just vote for everybody. A tough challenge in Category 11, Hades, Ori the Will of the Wisps, Streets of Rage 4, and Super Mario Bros. 35. With, without thinking about it too much, I would give the tough challenge to Hades. Because Hades could be like a cakewalk or it could be incredibly difficult because it's a roguelike. Whereas Ori and Will and the Wisp, as you progress through the game, it gets easier. Super Mario Bros. 35 is like RNG Battle Royale hell. And then... Our next category, 12, 35 years of Super Mario Brothers with the game and watch Super Mario Brothers, which is a limited edition little handheld that you can get for about 50 USD. Mario Kart Live Home Circuit, 
Super Mario 3D All-Stars and Super Mario Bros. 35. Super Mario Bros. 3D All-Stars. It's a combination of three legendary Super Mario titles with Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario Galaxy. It's, it's a no-brainer. It's three games and one for 60 bucks. And then we have number 13, Players Game of the Year. Now this is the final, this is the final fan favorite pick. And you have Short Hike, Animal Crossing, Hades, Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. You got Super Mario 3D All-Stars, Ori and Will of the Wisp, and Paper Mario, The Origami King. And having played all of these, except for Short Hike, really. Having played all eight of these titles, if I was to pick this, this... This tears me up so much when it comes to like the the game of the year titles to pick from because it's it's almost like you'd want all of them to win, right? But if I absolutely had to pick a player's game of the year right here, I'd give it to Animal Crossing New Horizons. I've been playing it since it came out earlier this year. I think I have over 400 hours on the game it is easily my most played nintendo switch game of 2020 so hands down i think that is worthy of my personal pick for my game of the year on the nintendo switch and yeah really i i, I think it's no brainer there but anyways i hope you enjoyed my picks extension of my fan favorites for 2020 on the nintendo switch again you'll find a link for this in the channel description on YouTube, where you'll actually be able to sign in with your pre-existing Nintendo account or create a new Nintendo account so you can cast your votes. And then later this month, non-specific date, but later this month, you'll actually be able to listen in to the Nintendo Power podcast where they will be talking about what everybody voted for. So you could let me know in the channel description with a comment of what your picks are replying to my video. You have basically less than 24 hours when when this video goes live. But I hope you like this. I hope you casted your votes. And I hope you guys will make sure to check me out over on Twitch where I stream five days a week, usually sometimes six. But right down there, Go to twitch.tv forward slash ichibadass. You can check me out. Again, majority of these social links will be found in the channel description so you can follow up. But I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. Get those game purchases in for Christmas or whatever gift giving combination that you may be doing this holiday season. But anyways, guys, stay amazing. I'll catch you next time.